Hey guys, I'm Wanda and welcome to Deep South. Today is my last day of air fryer February. This is my air fryer. It's a Wista. It's an air fryer oven. We want to thank Prepper Potpourri for inviting us to be a part of this collab. And we have videos that we've been doing. I think this is the fourth video I've done this month. So I'm going to put a link up here for my videos and for Prepper Potpourri's whole playlist. There are several other people in the playlist that have been doing videos all month long, so you'll get a lot of ideas, a lot of recipes. Prepper Potpourri's channel, she will be giving away, after the month of February, she'll be giving away an air fryer. Um, comment on my videos, on all the other people's videos that are in the collab for the whole month, and she will be choosing a video and someone under that video. So you don't know which video she's choosing, so comment on all of them. You might win an air fryer. And tonight we're going to be making uh, venison for supper. Danny's going to be helping me and then we're going to be doing a taste test. The first thing we do is Danny and I run the um, deer meat through, what do you call this, a tenderizer? Yeah. Can you see that? It, he runs it through one way and then the other way and it crosses it, it cuts it, and it makes tenderized steaks. Just as fast as you can drop it in there and flip that handle, it runs it through, because they're not very big. This, was this, little... is, this is pieces of back strap from a young deer. Yeah, this was um, the deer that we got back in the fall, late winter, whatever, I don't remember. And. Uh, It beats, it beats sitting there with a hammer. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these steaks over to the coating station. All right, we have Bob's Red Mill whole grain corn flour. It's stone ground. And what I'm doing is I'm laying them out on that. I've got a thin layer here on my plate. We already have the first batch going. This is the second. This will be enough for us to eat a couple of meals. I'm going to salt them. While they're wet and the salt kind of sticks to it, add pepper. And then we're just going to kind of press it and flip it. And you can see it's already pretty much coated. And if you see areas on the other side that doesn't look like it, and that one is coated. The secret to making the batter stick <laughs> is not putting it in the pan immediately. Let it set for probably seven to ten minutes before you ever put it in a pan. Then the batter will stick well. So this is not going in for a minute. We've got the first batch in the air fryer. We're fixing to go check them because it they should be close to half ready or ready by now because it doesn't take long to cook them in the air fryer. All right, guys, these have been going for approximately five minutes. You can tell they're not done, so we're going to put them back in. They're going to go five more minutes, and we may have to flip them at that point. But you got to watch them from now because they will start browning too fast once they start browning. I have it on air fry. This one I only put on uh, 10 minutes and it's down to the four minute right now. This one is on, I got it right at 400. And meanwhile, I opened a jar of our potatoes like this. I put them in the pan, got them hot, dumped the water, excess water off. And I'm just doing the handy dandy old fashioned way with a, um, potato masher, mashing all the potatoes up, and I'm not getting it like smooth mashed potatoes because we like our potato salad semi-mashed, I guess you would say. That's a word. Now we're going to add a little bit of salt. 
a little pepper. Some of my pickles that I canned. Now if you wanted to put eggs in this and have boiled eggs, but Danny and I don't do the boiled eggs, so this is the way we eat potato salad, the quick and easy way. Mayonnaise, I don't make my own. I guess I could, but I haven't. And we're gonna put a little of that. And we're going to mix. Quick, easy way to make potato salad. And like I said, if you have boiled eggs, that's the other ingredient that most people like in potato salad. If you like apples and I don't know, I've seen people add a little of everything. Dill pickles. These are sweet pickles, but you can add dill pickles. My kids like to do dill pickle potato salad. You just mix it up. Voila! Potato salad's ready. The first batch of deer steaks is out. Um, we're going to be heating up some green beans, fixing the plate in a few minutes, and we'll taste test for you. All right, guys, we're in here in our dining room. Usually we're standing at the bar because the dining room is... Yeah, it's been pretty much packed full of stuff for it's a while. It's a produce stand. Yeah, it's become a pretty, yeah. Uh, so, warehouse. so we've got it all cleaned up and we're here we're going to test the air fried deer or venison steaks dipped in uh, corn flour I like it is it tender enough? oh yeah running it through the tenderizer really helps the corn flour gives it a a distinct taste. It does. And just a touch of salt, it's good. It's really good. So not, it's not oily or anything like that. No. Or greasy or nothing. You don't have that deep fried right. greasy taste. Yeah. So guys, venison, we ran it through the tenderizer and put it in the corn flour, ran it in the air fryer for approximately 10 minutes. I guess the time would be determined by how thick it is. I mean, this was pretty thin. Yeah, and I just kind of watched it. Yeah. So guys, thank you for coming and joining us on the Air Fryer February, and thank Prepper Potpourri for inviting us. This is the last of my videos for the month, and if you want to know about other Air Fryer recipes, I'm going to put a link in the description above for Prepper Potpourri's playlist because there's been somebody all month long cooking something in the air fryer. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead. I have catfish that I've cut and laid out. I've got some organic cornmeal. I've added salt to it and I'm just flipping the catfish in it. I'm going to let them sit here and rest for about five minutes and then I'm going to throw them in the air fryer and we're going to see how they do. I like to put my sausage in the air fryer. This is some three cheese smoked sausage that we got from the butcher shop. This one has three different types of cheese in it. You can see that. And I like to split my sausage and open it out. And it's still frozen a little, so it opens out really well. We're going to air fry this for lunch. I've got it set at 400 on air fry, and we're going to put it on less than 10 minutes and I'm going to check it and see it usually takes about 15 minutes or so according to how done you want it and it looks awesome perfect 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 so are the green beans the carrots and the pepper poppers can't beat an air fryer